Okay, so it turns out the witch is actually not where I think she was. So, I, I'm gonna have to go back up that that one section just to find out what's up there. Uh, but there's there's apparently give me a second. There we go. There's apparently a metal door in this in this like courtyard that I didn't know about. Come here, dagger. There we go. Okay, so... Oh, yeah! I never did check out this area. Bloody Iron Key. Alright! Of course, now I'm in wildly uncharted territories. So I get the Fragrant Ring and the pro Provincial Ring. I suppose those are fine. But these take me down. I'm assuming this door is nothing. Okay. Let's let's check the other path real quick. See if there's anything over here. Keep expecting somebody to drop down on me. Keep expecting somebody to drop down on me, surprise me, murder me from behind. You know how these games go. The fact that there hasn't been a mimic yet is actually really uncomfortable for me. Because, like, what am I supposed to do after a certain point? Like, a Souls game without a mimic? What? Okay. Over here? Nope. Well. Maybe this is not nearly as dangerous as I thought it was going to be. I just keep expecting the other shoe to drop and it expecting it to drop hard. Well, nothing so far. No one here. So I get I guess we go up there is the one item down below. Yeah, let's grab it. Who knows what it's going to be? It's probably either a soul item or something random. Hey, it's, it's random, really good soul item. We're gonna get to like the end right before the final boss, and I'm just gonna go bananas. Well, I think, I think he thought I was one of his own. I think he still does. Fatal mistake, boyo. Fatal mistake. I wonder if he'd actually ever attack me. Who knows? Witch in the tower. Oh, that's the fire there. Ah, here she is. What do you want with me? Have you brutes no mercy? Do I? There are no secrets here. Only a tired, emaciated frame. I should probably take my hat off. Unfortunately, these people have terrible Haven't identification. You... you... You came to save me. Thank you. No, I am fine. With a little rest, I can soon walk. You go on ahead. I do not wish to be a dead weight. Okay, well, I think we're good to go. Yeah, so you had to have the full outfit, otherwise the official never would have dropped the, the staircase for you. Me? I don't know. I guess I guess that's it. Alright. Let's let's quick scoot back to the uh, the Nexus and go grab our super spell. I'm curious what other spells she can technically give me. Because, yeah, I've never heard of her as an NPC in this game. Not that I'm particularly knowledgeable in Demon Souls. <laughs> I am. Vadi Vidya, I am not. I would adore being that knowledgeable about a game someday, but... I don't know what it would be. Maybe a roguelike. I mean, there's definitely a couple of roguelikes that kind of qualify, but... 
I always pick the... I'm not going to call them the underdog games, but the games that most people don't care about beyond just like a surface value look. And I think that's okay, because to some degree, like, the vast majority of my channel is about trying new and interesting things and then moving on instead of dwelling too hard or wasting my time. So, where do we think she's going to be? There she is. Hello again. You saved me from great agony. I am sorry, for I cannot offer proper thanks. But should you have demon souls, I can teach you magic. Only my witchcraft is of a dark nature and arouses suspicions. Why not try the magic of the great sage Frake? Are you certain it would honor me to assist one such as you, but... Are you sure? Okay. So we can learn... Ignite. What does this one do? I mean, this is the one that actually matters. I don't know about, about Ignite. Here's the big problem. I, I can't cast it. Once, I lusted after demon souls. I passed the fissure into Boletaria, but became trapped by the Nexus. Then, the King's Executioner, Meralda, chained me up inside that tower. My thirst for demon souls is no more. On the contrary, I find such power dangerous. Do you know Yurt, the Silent Chief? He dons pitch black armor and a helmet with two sharp spikes. Yurt's presence in Boletaria has resulted in the death of many a great hero. Whatever his motives may be, he is a grave danger to us all. Do watch out for him. I cannot bear to think of harm coming to you. Frake wields a different type of magic from my witchcraft. Frake's magic stems from an understanding of the essence of the demon soul, while my witchcraft merely channels its energy. If the demon is cursed, so shall be the craft. Frake's power comes from human potential, while mine is a dark, dependent art. If the demon is Frake's power comes from... Oh. Okay. So, bad news. I'm going to have to get a bunch of intelligence. Good news. Where? There she is. Good news is, I do have a lot of soul items. Okay, let's... Let's... Level up a bunch. This is going to take a while, isn't it? I probably should have prepped this beforehand. Okay. Hopefully, I will have enough through all of these. I mean, I guess we could just go bananas and level up as many times as possible. Okay. Intelligence. There it is. Okay. So what else do I want to invest in? Magic up to 4,000? Sure. This will leave me with 200 souls. Okay, so I, I guess that's enough. Let's just put our faith in this and see if this works. Okay, so... Not learn magic, attune magic. So get out of here, these two. Hello, Firestorm. It might still be worth investing a little bit more in intelligence. Thank you. For like one more slot just so I can carry the basic soul arrow with me. Uh, but at this point, I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to get enough juice. It's in trade your souls. Uh, let's see. So let's just purchase Crescent Moongrass. And repair equipment. Not that it was terribly wounded, 
wounded, injured, broken. Bleh. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we could go to the Covetous King. We've this place is done, done, which is nice. I wish the uh, the gemstone slot would fill out once you've completed the area. But alas, do we go? Is it time? I think it is. Okay, so let's get rid of the prov provincial ring. Go for the cling ring. And I, let's get rid of the fragment ring. I don't think it's going to save me. Oh, ring of magical nature increases my magic memory capacity. That's another option. Yeah, we're going to Upper Latria. Shows how much I remember where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Now, I'm going to have to do this somewhat without my magic. That's okay. I only have to kill one thing on this path. I think everything else I can kind of safely not ignore... But only one of these actually blocks my way. And it is you! Peace out, thing. Okay. Very real possibility this is going to get kind of expensive. We might want to use some Aged Spice instead. Which I'm pretty sure I sent back to storage. Well... It's fine. I mean, I I can farm Age Spice wherever I want, whenever I want. And I mean, we've got plenty of the fresh spice. We've got tons of the fresh spice. We are absolutely loaded in that regard. So now it's just kind of a matter of like, well, will this work against the Maneater or am I going to have to change pace again? I'm hoping we get lucky. I'm definitely feeling better about my prospects here, just in terms of, like, I have done this. I wish it would actually show on your mana bar how much this spell would cast, if you, if you were to cast it. So I'd know if it's charged or not. There we go. You ain't biscuits. There's some fresh spice. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna get spicy today, I guess. I'd say it's expensive. <laughs> I got sixty four. I am prepared. Uh, so either this works or we. Well, I mean, I never actually tried the the light fire shot. We never figured out if that that one works or not. Uh, I feel so wasteful. Let's let's also switch to the late moon grass instead. If I got a heal, I might as well heal big. Ow. Okay. Goodbye, you. In the grand scheme of things that have been worth it, this ranks real damn high. Okay. So the second one is beefier. Okay, he's down there. This is fine. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, uh, man. So, on, on the list of things that were worth doing, this ranks incredibly high. Damn. I don't know what I just picked up from that guy. Oh. Souls. That's what I just picked up. 
Alright, back to the Nexus. To die, and maybe level up once. Okay, so I'm sitting next to Shell on the couch for this. And she just brought up a really good point. The Ivory Tower in Latria. Or Latria? I'm going to wait for a little bit. Level up. There's a connection between those two that... Let's just say it's kind of immature humor, and I have no idea if it was intentional or not. So I'm just going to wait like 30 seconds while I level up. I'm going to need 600 souls to be able to level up again. Hot dang. Uh, let's see. So if you guys want to try and come up with a guess or two. Okay. So I don't actually know if I really want to invest... Well, I mean, mag magic seems to be linear. I could keep putting it into intelligence, but I'm not sure how much I'm going to be using the super fire move. It's super expensive. It's good for boss fights, though. Maybe I should look that up. Okay. So the answer is, I'd have to have 24 intelligence to have a fourth spell slot. Which is... That's tough. Honestly, considering how well I've been just rocking it, if we have to fight a boss, then I will bring it along. And we can also use that ring if we absolutely have to. I think I'm just going to keep pumping it into magic so that I do my biggest my biggest hits. So anyway, you know how I gave you guys some time to guess what the connection is between Ivory Tower and Latria? I mean, it's it should be obvious. I, I didn't make the connection, but she'll... Oh, I can't carry any more of that. Uh, but Shell's sitting next to me and immediately called it Ivory Tower as a toilet. Latria, latrine. Did did they make a potty humor joke? Or is this entirely just accidental? I have no idea. Anyway, let's go fight a weird spoonhead man. Because I'm playing offline, so we're not going to be up against, like, a player controlling the guy. Oh. I just realized I'm using the wrong weapon for this. Well, time to find out. Oh no, I made a mistake. Guess who forgot to fling themselves into the void? This guy. Okay, please tell me I have a little bit of time before I have to fight this thing. Okay, we're good. Because, yeah, I forgot to fling myself off the, uh, off the upper ledge in the Nexus. It's such a weird thing. Like, I wish World Tendency was something that you actually, like, had more of, more control of. Instead, I understand why they designed it the way they did, but if they make a Demon Souls 2, I actually, I, I think this goes along with accessibility and stuff, but if every time you beat a boss, you get one more, like, world tendency pip, and so you can actually control what it is yourself, and so by the end of the game, you can just freely change it to whatever you want to unlock anything you want. Maybe even with, like, a, a full visualization of, like, hey, this is exactly what this does. I would love that. I highly doubt that that would actually come to pass as, like, a thing. Let's get rid of the Regenerator's Ring in favor of the Ring of Magical Sharp... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Me Ring of Magical Sharpness is a terrible idea for what we're doing. Uh... Blah. You know, I really don't know what which one I want to go with here. I guess Regenerator's Ring. I'm honestly not sure if Firestorm is a good idea for this fight. It probably isn't. But we'll find out very quickly. 
Wait, do we see the cutscene again? Huh. Repeats every time. Oh, boy. That's gonna be some dings on my sword. God, you're ugly. Alright, is that is that all of them? Oh! Okay, let's avoid that for a second. Who gets tired of all these mind flares? This guy. The fact that they're everywhere here is just unfortunate. Are you kidding me? bit here. We... Down I go. Uh, why is he... Oh, no, he's healing. I think? Or... Why are you kidding me? Okay. I don't think I caused him to bleed. Did I? Maybe I did. I don't know. Alright. Now we actually face the boss. Okay, first question. How effective is that? Pretty. I think I'm still using. I think I'm still using the. The wrong spell here. That the fast fire shot would probably be the trick. Hey! This is actually a boss you can backstab. Enjoy that fire, you swine. There we go. Well, that was easy. Okay, maybe this fire spell is actually really, really good. Uh, what about the dude up there? Oh, he's just gone. Man, what the hell is even this boss fight? I... Uh, clearly I need to actually watch some more videos on, on these things. Like, who the hell is this guy? And at what point in your crazy pants life do you make a throne out of chairs... Leading up to your own throne, like, as far as I know, the, these chairs offer no structural purpose. They're just stacked up here for the sake of organization, except for, I am 99% certain the amount of chairs in this pile is vastly more than the amount of chairs that you could possibly, like, feasibly fit into this room normally. So... Whoever Crazy Pants is here effectively robbed the entire cathedral area and everywhere around it, took as many chairs as he could, and piled them up here completely erroneously just so his crazy-ass, long-ass robe 
would stand out more. That and that's the only that's the only thing. I just it's iconic and it looks rad. But at the same time, what? All right, whatever. To the Nexus. I'm really like really just kind of speeding through this now. All right, so what do we what do we do with this? What do we even do with the old old dude's soul? Well, hmm. I gotta decide on that one. Okay, so it's getting pretty expensive to level up. I could put two more into intelligence just so just so I could potentially work. She is still talking. I could put two more into intelligence just so we could keep stacking it up. This way I could bring big fire spell with me into boss fights. Flip side. Invest it all into magic. Become ridiculous. Oh. Definitely need to use more than that. Hopefully that's enough. Like I said, these are getting kind of expensive. Yeah, let's, let's just keep being magic boy. Oh. It's simple. In trade, with your souls, I can eke out a living. Can I upgrade? No. Supposedly, I can upgrade... Supposedly, I can upgrade my catalyst now. I gotta figure out where I can go do that, though. Oh. Oh, hey. He's here. Ah, hello there. You rescued the sorceress from that tower. I express my gratitude. There can be no excuse for such ill treatment of an innocent. The king would be proud. Our great king was a magnanimous leader. He was stolid, spirited, caring of his subjects. He fought valiantly against the vile and depraved. And the seditious claims that our lord brought this scourge upon us, they could only be fabrications woven by jealous conspirators. That must be it. It must be. My brother in arms, Valifax of the Twin Fangs, was a brave and mighty knight. Unlike myself, he was the master of more than the sword. Valifax's mind was sharper than most scholars. Dark times have befallen us. If our lord, with the esteemed help of Valifax, could not prevent it, then no one could have. Our great king was a magnificent. That must be it. Okay. I think he's starting to loop. Our great king was a magnificent. Stolid, spirited, careless, the seditious claims. That must be it. Okay. So I've got to figure out how to upgrade my catalyst. Because that's like the number one thing that I've been wanting to do since forever. Because that's actually how I'm going to do more damage. Okay. So I did some digging. And I know how to get the insanity catalyst, but. I lose out on a really good spell that I kind of like. Thank you, as promised. Okay, so let's learn a new spell. Homing Soul Arrow. So this gets me the, uh... This gets me the really rad, like, five-star arrows that just kind of float over you. I don't know why he only gets two in that one. But didn't I spell the Dragon Demon Soul on... Maybe I I can't have it anymore. It'd be weird. Okay, one way or another, go back here, organize storage. We wanted to grab souls. Namely Okay, it's the Searing Demon Soul. Remember what the rest do. Uh, let's see. 
Okay, let's deposit the mixed one. So I still have the soul remains and the searing soul. That's fine. Okay. You have a heart of gold. So apparently also this weapon is really good. Like it's a it's a magic caster weapon. I had no idea, but it apparently increases your magic damage by a considerable amount. I don't think I can upgrade it so it gives me regen, but maybe I don't need it. Uh, uh. Uh, Thanksgiving is a day. Didn't really feel like it. Uh, let's see. Not that it really matters. I'm just going to date this recording a little bit. I, I've i given up streaming a number of games lately. Okay, hold up, hold up. Well, that sucked. Uh, yeah, I'll probably switch out this fire spell for something... A little bit better. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Uh, if it be a blacksmith, then show me your steel. If not, then head straight for the door. Okay, so we wanna talk to I'm him busy. a bunch. I'm not here to chit chat. Forging a weapon strengthens it and alters its character. Ores are transmogrified spirits. Their presence blesses the weapon. Demon souls. They're like powerful spirits. Some can even bless weapons. But doing so requires a powerful flame. Invigorated by a demon soul of scorching heat. I told you that I'm busy. Each ore has a grade. Mighty weapons can only be blessed by ores of high grade. The highest grade of all is a pure ore that shines in utter brilliance. A spirit force that delights the eyes. <laughs> the highest grade of all. <sighs> Try talking to him again. Yes, that's the one. There we go. A searing demon soul. With it, I can forge new breeds of weapon. Bring me your most powerful souls. No, white top. That ah. Wien doesn't know a good blacksmith and a boon maker. Hardly deserves a demon soulless side. Ah. Let's try that again. If it be a blacksmith. <laughs> With it, I can forge. There we go. A wise choice. You've done well to put your trust in the great blacksmith, Ed. Bring me a demon soul, and I shall use it to bless your weapon. Okay. So, upgrade weapon. Upgrade the crisp blade. Um... What does this do? What does what does the upgrade do? Wait. Does that double it? Oh, no. It goes from 44 to 63. So that's pretty good. But yeah, it does give a, a flat magical attack bonus. Which I'm... Oh. Oh! The Crescent Falchion does cause things to bleed. Not that it really matters too much. Uh, let's see. What a... Kind of... Awkward weapon that I've been using. Realistically, probably should actually not use the Crescent Falchion, but it's fine. Especially if I'm going to be using the Crisp Blade. Because if I look at this, Amplify his damage dealt received as magic. I don't think I can actually upgrade the bonus magic damage from the Crisp Blade by upgrading this. We need Colorless Demon Souls, and I don't think I have access to those. I think they're quite rare. So... Depending on how things go, I think I might want to just put the Firestorm away and just kind of ignore it for now. So, 
Where do we even go? Oh, I know where I go next. Eh, kinda. It's time to do some science. So, first and foremost, we learned how to do the homing, homing soul arrow. Bravo. Thank you. Let me buy him a human potential. Okay, a tune. So I want to get rid of Firestorm. As great as it is, this requires two. Perfect. And we'll just use Soul Arrow as the last. Okay. Bring me more. Might still be worth getting one more slot by pumping a bunch of intelligence, but... Ugh. It's expensive. So, where do we go? So we're done. We're done with these two. Really wish they had made this one. That would have been cool. Uh, let's see. Do we do we try and finish off the ritual path? It was spooky the last time I did it. But I'm a lot stronger than I was. And I'm a lot more decked out in resources. So yeah, I, I guess this is gonna be this is gonna be the plan. I don't know how much I'm going to kind of bip in and out here. Because I know I've already done all this before. I guess the real first check, put on the crisp blade. Regular soul arrow. Let's go see how this stacks up against the weird tall zombies. Eh, 72 damage. Could be better. They jumped down after me. News to me. I don't think they follow me any further. So we got Kling Ring and Regenerator's Ring on. It's probably... That's probably a good... Well, that's convenient. Okay, let's let's just Oh. Maybe I do want the homing solera. Ow. So this is going to get expensive. I guess I could fight this guy. There we go. Yeah, I'm reason I'm reasonably confident in this. Okay, so we get some holy arrows. We get that, which is spooky. Yeah, all right. It could be a little better, but it could be a lot worse. Ow. Oh, I messed up. You know, it's like the only time I'm actually... Wait, hold up. This is fine. I just realized I'm alive. Yes! <laughs> I lost all my souls, but I don't really care about that. But yeah, I, I totally forgot. I'm in human form because I just killed the boss. And, like, I guess when it comes down to it, I don't care too much about tendency and, like, maybe it wouldn't change too much. Maybe it would change a lot. I know it summons... Is that really the last time I died? I guess it was. Whoops. Oh, well. <laughs> You gotta imagine these guys are both like, uh, hold up, what, the, the, the guy, the guy that's, the guy's that's supposed to be, oh, there he is. <laughs> they gotta be used to it by this point. There's no way that they're not. Alright. Ritual path. Let's get it, let's get this done. Because I don't, I don't know how well I'm gonna do against the hero guy, but I'm at least reasonably confident in my ability to... To take on the Skelemen. <sighs> so I guess, you know what? Instead of trying to record my entire path through this every single time, let's just, uh, let's just take it easy. I'll see when, see when I'm done. 
Bye. Also, bye. Okay, I said I was going to take it easy, but I love these roly skele dudes and their utter inability to uh, properly attack me on these narrow winding passages. Ow. Yeah, it's you. Oh, well, that didn't work. I love the idea of the homing soul arrow. The actual execution of it is dubious. Okay, well, let's get back in here. Probably safe now. Okay, so the big problem is we've got the we got the big and big giant men, and I'm not terribly confident in my ability to just. To just deal with them. Ideally, maybe we just kind of take it slow. Because he only lasers me when I'm out of range. Huh. That actually might have been a valid landing place. Alright, whatever. Ugh. Okay. Round three. I got the thief ring on this time. See how that goes. There's also something about stairs here that I'm really curious about. At least I read something about stairs. I have no idea where they are. I have no idea where they could be. Never mind, I think I see them. Okay, so that messed him up. Nope, no stairs. Okay, and he does not know where I am anymore. Oh no, there are the stairs. Okay, so the, the stairs are a thing. Hmm. Oh, these stairs. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait here. I mean, worst comes to worst, he hits me. It's weird. Demon Souls is like one part action RPG, one part like weird puzzle game. Where all you're trying to do is figure out the exact strategy that'll let you just destroy your enemy in as little time as possible. Like, a second boss I've more or less killed just by two-shotting him with this. I, you know what? Maybe, maybe the real answer is just it's a puzzle game but only if you're playing magic. Otherwise, it's just like a much more direct action RPG. Holy shit, that's a lot of levels. Maybe maybe we do spring for some intelligence here. Yeah, let's... Do we? I don't know. Maybe I don't need to. Now let's keep pumping it into magic like an absolute goon. Hello! Seek soul power. Like, I feel like I should probably invest some into stamina, but that is, like, nil gain. Yay, I've increased it by five. Ugh. Yeah, do I just, do I just keep being an absolute? <laughs> yep. Peace out. I'ma get spicy. 
I can forge weapons for you for a fair price. Okay. We want to buy these. Farewell, money. Hello, spies. This dude is just my dealer. Got loads of money all over the place. Okay. Oh, what's... Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demon souls. I will cleanse them and create miracles with their power. Okay, well, none of these are really that helpful. I mean, some are kind of cool. Not that I'm terribly interested in this stuff, but like, evacuate seems kind of fun. Huh. Second chance, revive user from the death from death once. And regeneration. And yeah, some of these, I, I know you can get the uh, talisman of the beast or whatever it is. Yes, I certainly cannot, you must remember. Uh, let's see. The the talisman of the beast is supposed to... I'm going to look around for a second. Because I realized, isn't there one of these guys here that is like strictly a murderer and kills people? I know there's Mephistopheles, but she's different and we haven't unlocked her. But that dude in the black armor that was kind of prowling that I freed... Doesn't he, like, murder NPCs? I don't really remember. I just... If he does, I should probably kill him off before he kills out... Uh, kills off somebody important. I don't see anybody else here. I, I Like, I don't see him here, so he's probably lurking up high. Uh, let's see. What was, what was I gonna say? Heck, if I know. Old man's my drug dealer. Uh, miracles would be interesting, but... I guess not for this... Not for this game. Is this here? Is this a Strava? to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back. Now, I can go on with my work. Uh-oh. And for that, thank you. I might have goofed. <laughs> okay, so good news. He hasn't killed it. I, okay, no. He's killed two random unnamed people, but I don't think he's killed anybody else yet. At least, not to my knowledge. Uh, let's see. Because who's the... Yeah. The next the next person that he would kill is Freak's Apprentice. Oh, well, that's not high enough. Okay. We don't have any world tendency that we have to worry about. So, actually, I don't want to hurt myself here. I want to I wanna fight him as a human. That doesn't happen often. Bravo. Thank you. Let me. I am one. Ah, human potential. Okay, so we want to attune homing soul arrow and fire spray. Where are you going? Because yeah, Freak's apprentice is Freak. Freak. Freak's apprentice is the first one to die, and so we've we've managed to avoid that. All right. So is it up here? Yes. Let's uh. Let's kill Yurt. Hello. What is it? I have no business with you. Not yet. Do not be concerned. Okay. Life is hardly as precious as one might think. That's dumb. <laughs> Did he scream? <laughs> Why? You. Mephistopheles was right about you. Well, that solves problems. 
Bye. So that that solves all of our problems and more. He was only worth a thousand souls. Uh, let's go buy some more spice. Look, Daddy's got to get his drink on. <laughs>